Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. Turn to the Lord and His strength. Constantly seek His face. Dear sisters and brothers, we gather today on this 13th Wednesday in Ordinary Time. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. My dear friends, to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sinfulness and failings and ask for God's pardon and peace. Lord Jesus, you call sinners to yourself. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came to take away the sins of the world. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you redeem us and make us whole. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Seek good and not evil, that you may live. Then truly will the Lord, the God of hosts, be with you as you claim. Hate evil and love good, and let justice prevail at the gate. Then it may be that the Lord, the God of hosts, will have pity on the remnant of Joseph. I hate I spurn your feast, says the Lord. I take no pleasure in your solemnities. Your cereal offerings I will not accept, nor consider your stall-fed peace offerings. Away with your noisy songs. I will not listen to the melodies of your harps. But if you would offer me burnt offerings, then let justice surge like water and goodness like an unfailing stream. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Hear my people and I will speak, Israel. I will testify against you. God, your God, am I. To the, to the upright, upright, I will show the saving, saving power, power of God. Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you, for your burnt offerings are before me always. I take from your house no bullock, no goats out of your fold. To the, to the upright, upright I will show the saving power of God. For mine are all the animals of the forests, the beasts by the thousands on my mountains. I know all the birds of the air, and whatever stirs in the plains belongs to me. To the upright, upright, I will, I will show, show the saving, saving power, power of God. If I were hungry, I should not tell you, for mine are the world and its fullness. Do I eat the flesh of strong bulls, or is the blood of goats my drink? To the upright, to the upright I, will I will show, show the saving, saving power, power of God. God. Why do you recite my statutes and profess my covenant with your mouth? Though you hate discipline and cast my words behind you, to the upright, the upright I, will I will show the saving power of God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus came to the ter territory of the uh, Gadarenes, two demonics who were coming from the tombs met him. They were so savage that no one could travel by that road. 
they cried out, What have you to do with us, Son of God? Have you come here to torment us before the appointed time? Some distance away, a herd of many swine was feeding. The demons pleaded with him, If you drive us out, send us into the herd of swine. And he said to them, Then go. They came out and entered the swine, and the whole herd rushed down the steep bank into the sea where they drowned. The swine herds ran away, and when they came to the town, they reported everything, including what had happened to the demonics. Thereupon the whole town came out to meet Jesus, and when they saw him, they begged him to leave their district. The Gospel of the Lord. The first reading from Amos and the responsorial psalm are what struck me today. The psalmist, speaking to us from God, says, To the upright I will show the saving power of God. And who are the upright? Amos tells us and reminds us that the upright are those who seek good and not evil, that hate evil and love good, who let justice prevail. There is an intentionality, it seems to me, to be upright, to take a decided stance in our lives and how we view the world and how we interact with the world, that truth and justice are part of the fabric of who we are and what we're about and what we seek and what we try to bring to the world, that we truly despise that which is evil and that we seek the good all of the days of our lives, not just to be good, but to seek the good, to seek the ways in which the least are cared for, the stranger is welcomed, the suffering are comforted, that the intentionality of those who will see and receive the saving power of God are those who are upright in the eyes of the Lord, who live their lives and wear upon themselves a goodness that surpasses that of a passing fleeting world that very often finds itself dealing with its demons, with its ugliness, with its narrow-mindedness, with its self-centeredness. We are called to step beyond and to reach into the depths of who we are, that by the grace of God we are given a glimpse of his goodness, of his love, his compassion, his welcome, his sense of other that the poor, the least, even the sinner, are all welcomed by Jesus in hopes that they will make amends to their lives or that they will be healed or strengthened, that those things that separate them from God or from the love of others will manifest itself in a reconciliation, in a way of looking at others and determining that we are all brothers and sisters, all created by the hand of God, and that the work that is at hand is entrusted to all of the children of God. Let us pray that in our own lives we yearn so much to experience and know and see the saving power of God, that we allow ourselves to be guided by his presence within, that we look for the ways in which the Holy Spirit most often helps us to step beyond ourselves and the areas of our lives where we feel we are incapable or we are not strong enough, that we receive those gifts of the Spirit that give us strength and fortitude, trust and hope in the Lord where we let ourselves go into the mighty power of the Holy Spirit and allow the work of our hands, the words of our mouths, the, the travelings of our feet 
to be guided by that same Spirit so that we might not only come to know the saving power of God, but that we might look forward every time we find ourselves struggling, every time we find ourselves stumbling, every time we feel the need to step into the world as the upright, that we will not be discouraged by what might come our way or by a world that seems to be separating itself day in and day out from the loving presence of God. We come to this table where the Word was made flesh, splendor of the Father. Jesus has come to give us an example and calls us to follow him, to follow him to the cross, to follow him across the border, to follow him into the paths of those who struggle, those who have even offended us. That We are called to pray for one another, to stand firm in our faith, and to look for every way in which we can to seek the good and to manifest it in our daily words and our daily actions. Dear sisters and brothers, the Lord promises that he will be with those who seek good and not evil, relying on his promise we bring to him our needs. For Pope Francis, may the Lord bless him with strength and good health as he continues his ministry. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For lawmakers, may God guide their hearts to enact legislation that respects the dignity of all life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, and those caring for them. May the peace only Christ can give refresh their spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For members of this community, may the Holy Spirit inspire us in works of justice and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the faithful departed, may the angels welcome them to paradise. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for those whom we remember, especially at this Eucharist, Virginia Ratchford, Frank Wojcik, Shirley Funk, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And again, continuing our journey these days, dear sisters and brothers, we also add to the intentions for this celebration of the Eucharist all of those suffering from the coronavirus or COVID-19. For these sisters and brothers of ours, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you are the source of all that is good. We ask you in your mercy to hear our prayers through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. Amen. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory, through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, with Lays, our Bishop, with all the bishops, all the clergy, and all your faithful people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. My dear sisters and brothers, at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. My friends, the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer to one another now a sign of the Lord's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to share in the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Christ loved us and gave himself up for us as a fragrant offering to God. Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs we may one day possess in truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. Your friends, let us now ask our Blessed Mother's intercession upon all of the children of God who are suffering, those who are most in need of the Lord's presence, for all who, for whatever reasons, may have fallen away from regularly participating in the practice of their faith. We trust that God's saving help will come to all of his children, especially those who place their hope and trust in him and ask for his loving kindness and intercession as we turn to our Blessed Mother to assist us with these prayers. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace to proclaim the good news of the Lord. Thanks be to God.